Hi, I'm Andrew Sweeney here with HopNews.com. I'm joined by Joe Neal, and Joe is one of four candidates running for selectman here in Hopkinton this year. Joe, thanks for being with us. First of all, tell us a little about yourself. Well, what I can tell you is I'm a lifelong resident of Hopkinton. I was born and raised here. I grew up on Eastview and then on Hayden Row Street. Um, went off to college, started my life. My wife and I decided to come back to Hopkinton, bought a historic home in Woodville, uh, and rebuilt that. And the reason I want to run a, well, I want to run as a selectman because I came back this time because I love it. Uh, I'm an attorney. I have a small practice over in Westboro. Uh, my wife just opened a store right here in downtown. Uh, I have four kids, all in the school, public school system. And... Um, that's it? That's okay. It. Well, that's not, that's that's not, not everything that's about not it. That's, that's not it. That's not it. But yeah, okay. Um, so you touched on it there. So why is it that you're running? I mean, that is why I'm running is because as a lifelong resident of Hopkinton, I've seen changes that have occurred in this town over the last, I'm going to be 40 this year. And this town is poised for such incredible change in the next five to 10 years that we need to address that change so that we can decide what the character of our town is going to be. We're going to have great commercial development. We're going to have great residential development, it's going to impact our schools, it's going to impact our playing fields, it's going to impact our green space, it's going to impact this town greatly. And I want to be a part of that, and that's why I'm running. And do you like how things are going right now in the town? Any major changes uh, that you would see uh, if you were elected? You know, I can't foresee any major changes that I think I'm going to come onto this board and make. I think things have been going in the right direction. We're facing, facing this economic crisis. The Board of Selectmen has been very cost conscious. They've been very fiscally responsible. And I think one of the main things of the Selectmen is to be fiscally responsible to the taxpayer. And I, I don't see any great changes that I would like to make. What I want to do is make sure that this town stays on track as we move forward and we address these changes so that we don't lose sight of the reason that everyone wanted to come to Hopkinton in the first place. And that's an important issue. What would you say your number one issue would be? I mean, I think there's no great issue to me right now. I think it's, it's smart development for business. I'd like to see more retail and commercial come into town. Um, I think we have to be very smart and very careful with um, legacy farms and being fiscally conscious. I think we have to, uh, it, it, for those of you that were at town meeting, we were talking about having fallen behind in our services. Being cost conscious isn't the right thing to do if we don't do it smartly. And we can't allow our services, our fire, our uh, police, we can't allow those services to fall behind. And we're playing a little bit of catch up now. And I think the Appropriations Committee made some good recommendations this year as to getting back up on track on that. And I think if I have one issue, it's gonna be the, fi the fiscal health of this town. That's the main concern. Downtown revitalization has been a big issue. What are your thoughts on that? I am a huge supporter of downtown revitalization. I think the center of town should be the center of town. I personally am a little bit unsure what's going to happen with the new development down at Legacy Farms. I don't want to see that draw business away from downtown. And I think that downtown revitalization is the key to helping this town thrive. We have a vested interest. We've opened a store here on Main Street, a small retail store here on Main Street. We want sidewalks. We want people to come. We need to address the parking issue. So I am all for and I'm a big backer of the downtown revitalization. As we all know, the economy not been in the best shape in recent years. What kind of things would you do to make sure Hopkinton stays healthy in this economic environment? Well, I think what we need to do to stay healthy is we have to prioritize. I mean, that has to be in all capital letters. We need to make sure that the schools are staying healthy. We need to make sure that our services are being maintained. But we have to do it in such a way that we're not overburdening the taxpayer. And that's the tough thing about being a selectman is that the weighing of those issues. At town meeting, we, we appropriated a lot. I think we did the right things at town meeting fiscally. I think we're going to get back up on track. I think the Appropriations Committee made the right recommendations in terms of moving money, um, you know, money at hand, the cash out of certain funds to get us back on track. And I think that's what we need to do. We need to attract businesses in here, and we need to support... Um, healthy development because that's what's going to grow the tax base. I don't want to tax. We have a fixed number of homes in town right now. We can't continue to grow and tax those individual homes. We need to help develop this town. We need to be, become more attractive to business and that's part of what revitalization will do. And anything else you'd like to add? You know, I think having been here for 40 years, essentially, I've seen this town grow. I've seen good changes and bad changes. It's not that I don't want this town to change because I know it's going to change. I want to make sure that it changes for the better. I want to make sure that we act fiscally responsible. We put our money where it needs to go and that we keep the character of Hopkinton. That's my biggest concern is that we're at a, we have, we're at a risk of losing the character of Hopkinton. 
And I think that it's important for the selectmen to have that, fa that far-reaching vision of what do we want Huffington to look like in 10 years? Do we want it to look like a small city? Or do we want it to keep its rural character and, and the community atmosphere that we have? And that's really why I'm running for selectmen. All right, and election day is? May 17th. Get out there and vote. All right, Joe, thanks for being here with thank us. Thank you very much.